this week we are going to be talking about the SM and the SN sound. So we're continuing with our clusters, S blend clusters. So again, this week you can still do your S sound and remind them to make the snake sound at the beginning of the words. And also if you need to use this cue, S, that's a good visual cue. Sometimes you can just do this to see if they remember that they need to add that sound on. So some fun activities that you can do at home. You can play Play-Doh and have them say smash. I also sometimes will pretend to roll this Play-Doh and make it into a snake and then also kind of roll that up and make it into a snail and then you could smash the snail. So that would be fun. You could also have your kids sort different things. So these are pom-poms. It's just an example of things into a big category and a small category. Um, so. And when you have them do big, you can say it is not small. So the more repetitions that we get our kids to do for these speech sounds, the better. We want to really have them say it over and over and over again. So if you can have them say small and not small, there is more opportunity for them to use those words. If your kids like using scissors or and you're allow, <laughs> going to allow them to use scissors, you could have them cut different things like straws and have them say snip each time that they cut the straw up. Snip. Uh, so that would be a fun thing for them to do. There's also a Tokoboka app if you have um, a tablet at home that is hair salon. So sometimes I will have my kids do that. You do have to stay by them and obviously encourage them to say the word, maybe covering the screen up or kind of take the iPad away so that they have to say those words before they take a turn. Because obviously just cutting the hair on there is not going to help their ass sound. Um, a couple books that are really fun is Snowy Day. That's a really good one. I love this one. There's lots of good S blends in here. Um, it talks about snow, it talks about snowflakes, there's also snow soup, and then um, it talks about um, a stick going slow, and it smacks on his tree, on his head, I would say that, he smacked on a, on a tree, um, snowball, so snow angel, snow man, so there's lots of different good um, two-syllable words that have the SN in there, so you could use that, do that book. I also really love this bear, um, these bear books. Bear snores on because it's repetitive. So it, it'll talk a rhyme and then it'll say, but he's, the bear still snores on. And so it says that over and over again. And um, so then you can kind of pause and let your child fill in the phrase snores on. And there's other good S ones in there too, like spark and sneeze, um, some of those kinds of things. This is a game called Buzz Off, but you certainly don't have to have the game. You could um, either get a fly swatter you already have or maybe buy a fresh fly swatter and pretend to kill fake bugs or pictures of bugs around and say smack each time you hit the bug and kind of go on like a bug hunt. That could be fun. And then um, the last thing you could do is, this is again something, just an example, but um, this has different foods that you feed the different animals. You could do it with a puppet. You could do it with a stuffed animal and pretend to feed fake food and tell them snack time and have them say it each time they feed them. Say snack time each time, okay? So those are some SN and SM uh, ideas for you to do at home. If you have any questions, please let us know.